Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye with another episode of Okami HD. In the last episode, we were doing lots of side questing. We bloomed all the cherry blossoms in Saiyan City for Mr. Flower. Did his little Gura Shuffle ceremony there. And we also cured Blossom's dad and got some extra praise for blooming the cherry blossoms as well. And we were also the fairy man. Got a bunch of praise for that. And we also stoked, y stoked Yama's fire, which gave us a new technique. We can now summon fire um, anywhere we please if we just draw the infinity symbol. So there are a few more side quests we gotta do. Uh, we've been hearing a lot about this Hayazo fellow stealing things. And also the little girl that we gave the charcoal to, just drawing stuff on the ground. Um, so yeah, let's go to like one of the few remaining buildings we have not gone to. <laughs> this building with a bunch of little Ryu coins on it. And inside there is a sneakily hidden chest here. What's in here? Got a crystal. Alright, just gonna rob these people. First things first. Well, look at all these colorful fabrics. I'd never be able to choose which one I wanted, huh? <laughs> Did you get you pretty little kimono soon? Check out this beautifully dyed kimono. The color's so vibrant. Just imagine a cute babe wearing this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, has, has it ever worked, Isuna? Has Have you ever gotten a babe before? Mrs. Fan. Alright, look how she has a fan on her head. Oh, what a worry that man is. My husband's trying to come up with a fashionable new design. He's so absorbed in the next room, he won't lift a finger to help me. Now of all times when that rumor has driven all our customers away. Maybe you can go and give him a good talking to, eh? <laughs> what rumor? That rumor has been a real blow to business, I can tell you. Did you see a row of willow trees outside our shop? People say a strange ghost appears there at night. Not that I... Not that it seems to do anyone any harm, mind you. We talked to Raiden already. He's just, he's just hanging out. He's enjoying his life as a ghost. He just says it's lonely. That's, that's it. Perhaps it's just my hubby's laziness that's bad for business. Maybe you can go and give him a good talking to, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Well, let's go talk to your husband. What's, what's wrong with him? Is he being lazy? Do I, do I need to tackle him? Mr. Sheik, are you the Emperor's brother? You seem to have lots of coins around your neck. <laughs> hmm, this is a real puzzle. Oh, hello, white doggy. You want to keep an old worrywart company? I run this kimono shop, you see, but it feels it's time for a change. I'm getting a bit sick and tired of seeing the same old colors. I was just trying to think of an exciting new design. Kimono designer, Mr. Sheik. The thing is, it's not quite as easy as I hoped. It's such a loss, I'm tempted to ask you for help, doggy. You think you can help me come up with a new design? You are getting desperate if you're asking a dog. <laughs> that I could catch on all across the city. Take a look at that kimono back there. I found that simply by staring at it, one can draw inspiration. Yes, yeah, surely staring at it is the way to go. It's simple. Alright, there's like, hint, draw something. So you can draw whatever you want, but um, that girl outside drawing with the charcoal had some ideas. I think she showed us a star. Uh, let's see if this will recognize the star. I think... Is that good? <laughs> a little bit crooked? <laughs> what? Good heavens! How did that design end up appearing there all by itself? Maybe my inspiration worked on the kimono after all. That pattern almost seems as if it could make something happen. I, I think that's the indicator that you like drew drew it correctly. You can certainly show you certainly show great skill at this, friend. If a design miraculously appeared from the kimono being stared at, then maybe my inspiration's taken on a sort of divine quality. In that case, I could probably come up with something even better. Here it goes. You can lend a paw too, white doggy. Help Mr. Sheik come up with a design. Uh, not now. <laughs> but this is a golden opportunity. You have to seize the moment while you can. All right. Well, let's first report to the little girl. See if something happened. Yeah. 
We're now, we're now taking over this guy's business. Keep coming up with designs, but he's getting the credit for it. Of course. Not me, not the little girl. Alright, let's go to the other side of the city. The girl will be drawing in chalk during the daytime only. Though if it's nighttime, turn it turn it back to day. Oops, what was that? Oh, that was just a sign. I was like, there's an animal? <laughs> I was like, I thought maybe there was an animal. Oh, they replaced my silly face that I had here. Look, doggy! Isn't it pretty? This is my latest design, the star pattern! If you look up at the stars at night, you forget all your woes. You get 20 praise for that. I'm not some ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be this time. Alright, she has a heart. Can I see it by the thickness of uh, the line? I guess start at the bottom and then just kind of draw around clockwise. Um, if you're having trouble with it, it seems to be like there seems to be a certain stroke order that you have to draw draw the design in. All right, let's go back to Mr. Sheik. Give him a new design. Like, seriously, girl, she sh she should be getting paid for this. Oh, you're back, white doggy. Been hoping to come up with an even more novel design. So I've been attempting a bit of design. <laughs> Psycho psychography, so to speak, but it just doesn't seem to be working anymore. I know, could you lend a paw again to see if that helps? Maybe a bit of your passion mixing with my own will do the trick. Okay, let's get right to it. Look hard at the kimono. Your head will doubtless be assaulted by inspiration. All right, let's uh start at the bottom. Connected at the bottom. Does that work? <laughs> Look how it's, it always gets warped. Yes, yes, that's it. There it is, my vision right there in all its glory. An exquisite texture born of primitive force. Another design original beyond belief. That pattern almost seemed as if it could make something happen. It certainly showed great skill at this friend. All right, let's go back to little girl. See if she has new design. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, well, she's too young to not realize that her designs are being stolen. <laughs> That's how the world works, I guess. But, oh, it's, I didn't even notice it's on her umbrella, too. Look, doggy! Isn't it cute? This is my latest design, the love pattern. Wonder if dogs understand what love is, though. <laughs> I mean, dogs give you unconditional love. <laughs> Although, it might be transactional if it's like for food. I'm not some ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm, I wonder what it will be this time. Alright, got a V. That's simple enough. Watch it, watch me like mess it up. Oh, it's even on your back. Everyone, everyone's Adopting the design. Alright, Mr. Sheik, I... New ideas are just pouring out one after the other in the same day. Oh, you're back, white doggy. Been hoping to come up with the, an even more novel design. So I've been attempting a bit of design psychography, so to speak. But it just doesn't seem to be working anymore. I know, you could lend a paw again and see if that helps. Maybe a bit of your passion mixing with my own will do the trick. Okay, let's get right to it. Look hard at the kimono. Your head will doubtless be assaulted by inspiration. Alright, V. Oh god. <laughs> that, that, that count? Yes, yes, that's it! There it is, my vision right there in all its glory. Exquisite texture born of a primitive force. And another design original beyond belief. That pattern almost seems as if it could make something happen. It's certainly show great skill at this friend. Alright. Report back to the little girl. We're on a roll. It's, it's really easy praise. Getting 20, 20 praise per picture. I mean, 
You can't get infinite praise. It'll eventually cease, but it's still a lot. We're essentially just running back and forth. Look, doggy! Isn't it <laughs> beautiful? <laughs> this is my latest design, the henshin pattern. Women often want transformations into real beauties. Henshin a go go, baby! <laughs> That's a beautiful jaw reference. Uh, yeah, my friend played that a lot. It was like one of the few Wii U games out there that like we had. I'm not uh, some ordinary kid, you know, a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be this time. Alright, looks like four circles? I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a four-leaf clover? It's a little bit more complicated, looks like there's more room for error. Um, we will draw four circles and see if we get it right. <laughs> do, do, do. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Sheik. I'm helping your husband. Do you have anything to say? That river has been a real blow to business, I can tell you. All right. He's still worried about the ghost. As much as he's worried about it, I can't can't do anything about the ghost. He's just there. There to confuse you. Oh, you're back, white doggy. I've been hoping to come up with even with an even more novel design. So I've been attempting a bit of design psychography. All right. Blah blah blah. Same thing. Show me the kimono, and I'll draw it with my divine ink. Alright, circle. Circle, look like I'm drawing a pair of boobies. But it's not that. Uh, does this count? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it! There it is, my vision right there in all its glory. An exquisite texture board of primitive force. And another design original beyond belief. That pattern almost seems like it can make something happen. I got it right. I feel like, I feel like, uh, okay, they're probably ge generous with this one. Certainly show great skill at this friend. I like how my ink starts to like wear out at the fourth circle. You're not allowed to double dip your brush. You have to do everything with with one stroke, with one dip of the brush. All right, little girl. Look, doggy, isn't it nice? This is my latest design, the happiness pattern. It's a clover, see? Clovers bring us lucky, luck and happiness. Twenty more prints. All right, she has one more symbol, which is probably gonna be the bane of my existence. I'm not some ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be this time. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was a little bit more complicated. Got some looks like kanji. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna it shows you the stroke order, so like two lines, like one stroke to the left and then one at the bottom. But yeah, this is like the bane. <laughs> the bane of uh my drawing here. I've like Attempted this so many times and it's like nope not correct. Nope not correct. Nope. Nothing will happen Let's see if I can get it Like I mean I got this. I know the stroke order Oh, you're back white doggy. I've been hoping to come up with an even more novel design. All right, let's try to draw All right stroke stroke Stroke? Stroke. Yes, yes, that's it! There it is, my vision right there in all its glory! Exquisite texture born of primitive force. N and another design, an original beyond belief! Oh, I actually did it right the first time, okay. <laughs> Maybe it just sucked last time I played this. <laughs> that pattern always seems as if it could make something happen. You certainly show a great skill at this friend. Yay, alright. I'll- I'll take it! I don't want to be here forever drawing the, the kanji for- I think that's for the gods. Cause they're playing Okami, you know? 
Alright, can we make it to the little girl before it turns into night? Probably not. Let's turn it back in the day. Bring the sun back out. <laughs> do, do, do. Da, na, na, na. See, girl, you can play forever. I can make it stay day forever. Look, doggy. It's quite bold, don't you think? This is my latest design. The character that represents gods. This character can protect you from scary monsters. My mom said that the gods all died ages ago, though. Maybe that's why the monsters are always up to no good. Got 20 more praise. Alright, we got, well, like 100 praise for all that. Thanks for always coming to look at my pictures, doggy. Do you like drawings, too? In that case, I'll give you this as a sign of our friendship. Alright, we got a stray bead for, for finishing all five, all five of the drawings. I think this is stray bead number 48, so we'll mark that off our list. Bam. Yeah, surprisingly, like, this is... Probably the only stray meat I can get at the moment from this place. Which is weird since we've been talking to a lot of people. We'll get some more later. We just gotta progress the game a little bit more. Pictures have a special power, don't you think? I want to draw lots more pictures that will make people happy. La la la. Drawing, drawing, it's so fun. I want to draw lots more pictures that will make people happy. Alright, girl. I'm just probably like wondering where all, why all the adults are wearing kimonos with their with their designs. <laughs> She's just happy that people are wearing it. All right, now it's time to turn day into night. Actually, I probably could have waited to do this. Um. So yeah, we've been hearing rumors about Hayazo, who's been stealing things from people at night by bumping into them. But it's too dark to see him. Um. We need. We need to uh, set the torches ablaze to, to flush them out. Now we do have like this fire burst technique, which we can light the torches with. Whoops. <laughs> but I think for this uh, brazier over here, like you gotta light the big old Brazier. I always call them braziers and people are like, bras? I'm like, that's one big brazier. They must use it to light up the road at night, but it's completely out now. Yeah, I like, I tried using fire bursts on this and like, it doesn't seem to work. Like, I, I think I have to actually use... Inferno. <laughs> like, I have to, I have to pass the fire from torch to torch. I guess if I wanted to kind of cheese it, I could just... Fire burst this one. And then just transfer the flame over there. Um, but for... I think it'll behoove me to actually light the other torches as well. Uh, do I have to do this? Eh. Need my ink back. <laughs> Cause yeah, we're gonna need- we're gonna need like many sources of fire. That's a good idea to light all these. Did I just destroy? Oh wait, that there's there's some fire over there. There you go. Give me my Back. Oh, so finicky sometimes. Is there any? There's one over there. I probably should make sure I got some fire in that corner. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a fun, a fun mini game. But by fun, I mean not fun. <laughs> by fun, I mean annoying. Ah, that seems like a lot of fire. There could always be more, though. Oh god, don't drown. Mmm, it's a camera. Fire. Did that reach? Okay. 
I feel like that should be enough. Like, if I pan the camera enough, there's there's gonna be a source of fire somewhere. Alright. That confounded Hayazo. Can't believe he's still on this street. He's taunting me. <laughs> I'm gonna arrest him if it's the last thing I do. He only operates at night, though. It's pitch black here, so it's impossible to spot him. So it stands to reason that we just have to make it brighter. Suppose I just have to wait until the big lanterns are lit. I mean, it is lit. <laughs> all it's daytime now. <laughs> not, he's not operating during this hour. Wow, he took all night trying to light the torches. You better still be lit or else. Okay, I see fire everywhere. So to flush out Hayazo, it's not really apparent, but we gotta... I think, cut that boulder down? Or not? <laughs> All of them are lit, right? Oh no, never mind, it's not lit. That's why. Forgot to light the last one, silly. There you go. Look, I don't believe it. The gods must have heard my pleas. Big lanterns have suddenly come aflame. So as we a sign from above. The gods must be telling me to catch Hayazo. He may have gotten away with his crimes in the darkness up to now, but there's no way for him to, to hide with all this light. Must be taking cover somewhere nearby. I just have to lie and wait until he shows his face. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally broke the boulder. Let's, re let's respawn the boulder. <laughs> just have to enter and exit some building. Mm -mm -mm. And the torch stays lit out of my head. Alright, magical boulder has respawned. Really? Those stopping me now with those- with light and those big lanterns. I won't let you have the run of this city much longer, Hayazo. You must be taking cover somewhere nearby. Uh, do I have to talk to him first or is it this boulder? Whoops. As I destroy all my torches. Okay, he's in that one. Whoops. Hee 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 hee! Yeah, found me! Not bad, pal. Not bad at all. Let me introduce myself. The name's Hayazo, Master of Thieves. I was born to pick pockets, you see. They say I, I even picked the midwife's pocket, pocket when I was born, right out of the uterus, eh? Nice to meet ya. There's a little kerchief around his nose. Master of Thieves, Hayazo. Master of Thieves? Yep, but picking pockets ain't my only skill, you know. I can run fast, even faster than a wolf. Huh? You saying you could take us on, mister? You may be a master thief, but Furball here is a master snatcher. No matter who it is, this furry snatcher just, just gets the goods. Especially when sleazy thieves like you. Hee 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 hee! Think you could take something from me, do ya? Well, no one can match my vanishing act. No one has... No one has! No one ever will! Mess with me and you'll eat my dust! You gonna take me on? Well? Hehe. <laughs> You're toast, Hayazo. There's no escape when Zami here sets after some prey. <laughs> she doesn't seem that much of a hunter. She just <laughs> slays demons. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a shot! You're no match for the skill of Hayazo, Master of Thieves. First one, then two. Get him in order. All right, it's not gonna be simple as just catching him. I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. All right, these two. We got a power slash one, and we also have to douse the other one in water. In that order. Bam. Sometimes the targeting can be a little finicky, but there he is. <laughs> Hi. I gotcha. Fiddlesticks! And he drops. Looks like a watch, a little pocket watch. We have to deliver this to the person who's missing it, which I think was a samurai dandy. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's you, dog! What's that you got there? Surely it's not my precious glass watch! You offered glass watch. How in the world did you get it back from Hayazo? I see some kind of miracle worker. You got 20 praise. I have enough for another another upgrade, right? 
I can get an astral pouch. <laughs> all right, we got all the astral pouches. So we 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 have like what four continues? As long as we fill it with food. Like I'm still refusing to get solar energy. All right. I'll just relight that torch. So that one was a little simple. You just need you just needed power. Uh, Power slash and water spout. Uh, can I not fire? Okay. <laughs> can I relight that? Because I need it. Alright, let's refresh the night. Although I don't think it could turn into day in the middle of a hunting down Hayazo. And can I see him again or is he gonna hide again? It's impossible. He's just too fast. There's no way I can catch up with him. Guess I'll just have to pretend I didn't see him. <laughs> you lazy guard. Alright, he's in that one this time. Hee <laughs> hee Happy because you got the goods back, are ya? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. My vanishing act can't be beat. First one, then two. Get him in order. I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. Alright, now there's three. Slash. Water spout that one, and then oh god, fire that one. In that order. Flash. Water. Uh, careful not to hit the fire one, or else it'll. It will mess up the order, and then you'll fail, and you have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, we got him fast. How'd you do that? Again? Alright, we got. Some dumplings with a little peach on it. Uh, I think Momotaro's only out during the day? Yeah, this Blossom's dead over there. Let's turn it into day. So we can return the dumplings. Here you go, Momotaro. You offered millet dumplings. Hey, my millet dumplings! Where'd you find them? Thanks for bring bringing them to me instead of just gobbling them up. Yeah, it's pretty generous for a dog, actually. <laughs> 20 more praise. I've been pretending to be a hero defeating demons on Oni Island. Why don't you play with me? I don't mind that you're just a dog. A weird, like, creature? <laughs> child? It's, I'm gonna get a child if he's, like, playing pretend, but... <laughs> I'll be the hero defeating demons and you can be my loyal servant. I'll give you the millet dumplings my grandma made. Then you'll play with me, right? Here you go! Wow, that's a... thanks. Consumed millet dumpling. Dumplings used for purification. Thank you. Can I get more? You want some more millet dumplings? Okay, here you go. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Fill up my astral pouch that I just got. That's all there is! So when are you gonna pretend to be my servant? Never. Alright. I think we can chase down Hayazo one more time for one more item and then after that we have to we have to progress the story a bit more. We won't, we won't have the power to stop him an additional time. It's amazing that he got my watch back from Hayazo. That watch is important to me. Thanks for getting it back. Make sure no one else ever gets their hands on it again. Oh, would you like something to eat, dog? Oh, he feeds me too. Give me some meat. More food. Yeah, feed the dog some meat. <laughs> Will you feed me forever? There's always a limit. Um, my pouch is almost full. One more piece of food. <laughs> okay, you're literally just not stopping. Alright, I- I'll, My pouch is full, so I'll stop now. Alright, let's turn it back into night! I have to talk to the guard first. <laughs> it's like I slash all the boulders and he doesn't come out. It's just too fast. There's no way I can catch up with him. I guess I'll just have to pretend I didn't see him. Alright, you're in that one this time. 
Yoshi! <laughs> Happy because you got the goods back, are ya? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. My vanishing act can't be beat. First one, then two. Get him in order! I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. Oh, great. Four. Fire first. Flash that one. Water that one. Fire that one. <laughs> Uh, did it? He disappeared. Oh god. Did he split up? Where'd he go? The water was right there. Uh, I need water. Water, water, water. There's some water here. Camera's kind of funky. There we go. It won't be so easy next time. All right, got a little hairpin. I think this is the chrysanthemum hairpin. Uh, I think the city dweller that was looking for this is drinking away his worries in the bar. <laughs> or in Yama's restaurant. I got something for you. Here you go. You offered chrysanthemum hairpin. Hmm? Hey, that's my chrysanthemum hairpin I spent a fortune on. I spent a fortune on that thing. Someone stole it from me and I'd given up on seeing it again. I don't know where you managed to come by it, Mutt. But I can tell you- I can't tell you how happy I am that you did. Thank you. 20 more praise. So that's all we can get at the moment. We don't have the power to chase down Hayazo anymore. Because he's gonna- <laughs> he's gonna need to be immobilized with stuff other than fire and water. Well, I suppose that means it's, it's time. Time to tell Kiku. Time to tell her I, uh, um, I love her. But first a drink. I can tell Kiku. I can tell Kiku I love her. Maybe we'll end up getting married. Hehe. <laughs> what a great dog you are. All right, hopefully she says yes. Uh, we'll have to come back later and see if she says yes. We'll actually get more praise. Um, but that'll be until, like, the game is almost over. <laughs> if you remember to go come back and talk to that guy. With no name. Alright, so we did all the side quests in the city at the moment. So now let's exit. I need to get some demon fangs, and there's also, uh, Masu's monster manifest <laughs> that we got. We have to hunt down some monsters. We'll, we'll get some demon fangs in addition to that as well. So I guess two birds, one stone. Now these are gonna be thunder ears, which... I don't like, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. <laughs> this honorable tempest appeared, and he has a friend. Hey, that monster has an exercising arrow stuck in it too. That means somebody really wanted to get rid of the monster. Don't let him get away. Oh God! I I mean I can deal with that one. I I have fire. If I can like summon the fire. <laughs> And then I can pee on you. I'll put that out. Oh no, he's not stunned. Now I can pee on you. Really? Stop it. I want to pee on that one. <laughs> Alright, give me more fangs. Alright, now I gotta deal with that one. I think I power slash you for things. Dishonorable Tempest defeated. I feel like that took a long time just to get the fangs out of them. That was one of those miscreants from the monster manifest. We just happened to find it. Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> Boy, you never know what you'll find next. You know that monster manifest you have? Well, you can cross out the monster you've taken care of. Oh god, which one did I- which one did I fight? The monster you just finished off is on the wanted list. Go ahead and strike the name off your list with your brush. I think it was Dishonorable Tempest. Oh god, that's not a straight line. Oh, well, okay, game. <laughs> that's one less monster. At this rate, it won't be long before you can cross them all out. Go and see the drunken samurai once you defeat all of them. K 
can't wait to see his face when you show him the full list. He's gonna be like, you took care of him? I, I didn't ask you to do that. Uh, hello, there's you. I'll talk to you in a moment. Should I go? Probably should go to the dojo, actually. I have money, and I think I have another technique I can I can grab. Which will help with the monsters. If I have more combos and power-ups. You've come again, my little lupine friend. Have you come to sharpen your skills? Uh, okay, I got Wailing Mirror. Equip reflectors as main and sub weapons to increase your attack power. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that now, but I guess later I'll get some more reflectors and I can... I can equip two reflectors for a power bonus. Well, we'll do it now. So you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts? I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and I'll allow you to enroll in my dojo. But I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Ah! Oh! Will I break my neck? <laughs> Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. I haven't had to do your gravel gravelly voice in a while. I haven't shredded my throat recently. Let the lesson begin! We'll practice the Wailing Mirror God Technique! Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train! Wailing Mirror God Technique tips. Equip reflectors as both main and sub weapons for this technique. Both reflectors will undergo an increase in power! The Wailing Mirror Mirror's combination of offense and defense thrashes foes! Well, did you understand? Yes. Ah, uh, very well then. I'll grant you the technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. I obtained technique scroll. Understand it with your body as well as your mind. Ankar, do I have to? Alright, I, I gotta equip some reflectors. <laughs> uh, take that! Good job! That's enough for now. Very impressive. You have shown me your warrior spirit. You mustn't neglect that spirit. Train every day to keep it strong. You may go now. Show those foul creatures the true nature of the warrior. Are you gonna give me a bone or just a good job? Thank you. Take the bone. Alright, we can leave now. That's it. <laughs> Don't have to wail on it like ten times with a combo. Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, gaining experience in a single skill is admirable. But you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. I pray that you do not forget that. Alright, let me put back on my weapons. Or check out the scroll too. Move list. Yeah, Wailing Mirror got technique tips. Equipping reflectors as both main and sub weapons for this technique. Both reflectors will undergo increase in power. The Wailing Mirror's combination of offense and defense thrashes foes. Alright. I'll get another one where it's like re equip both rosaries as a main and a sub, and then one for the. One for uh, glaives as well. I think I'm gonna keep my my previous layout. <laughs> I, I do like the glaives. I know the rosaries, the exorcism beads were like the new thing that I got. And I feel like the, the strong hit of the glaive does help knock down monsters. So I'll keep it like this for now. All right, I still can't afford to poop, so we will forego the poop. Let us continue hunting monsters for the manifest. It is also daytime. I, I should have refreshed, refreshed the crescent. Eh. All right. So this next one is also along the beach. Is it you? I think. I think it's you. Yeah. Another thunder, petulant lightning. 
You have friend. You do have a friend. Uh, well, friend, you can get Gale stormed and get wrecked. Stop! Oh, stop! Stop combo. Get a feed on you, but I forgot. Knock you over. I'm dead. This is I can pull the lightning off you. All right, I'll pee on you before I forget. Turn around, you fool. I think I might be a little too close for it to get all the combos off you. All right, power slash. Petulant lightning defeated. Okay, another one down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. Quick slash of your brush should do the trick. Petulant lightning. This <laughs> is okay. As long as it's straightish. Like, good enough. I'll talk to you, Mr. Postman, soon. Let's continue hunting monsters. Actually, food. Hello, merchant. Uh, I'm gonna preemptively. I'm gonna preemptively buy some more fish. That's gonna be important later. <laughs> I, I just don't want to run out of fish when when you can't buy it at the moment. All right, the next one. Uh, is it the one by the bell? I think it might be the by the bell. No, it's not you. But I'll I'll pee on you. Stop it. Bring ahead. <laughs> I forgot, uh... How to deal with you? I haven't seen one of you in a while! Okay, there is the ball. Get out of here! Oh god, I forgot. <laughs> Stand back! Uh, I'm gonna say power slash. I'm gonna doubt power slash. I did horrible on time, but I still got some demon fangs. Ow. Is it you? Alright, it's you. Storm of degradation appeared. Uh, more fire. We can deal with fire. Oh god, if I can summon wind. <laughs> they don't seem to want to... Oh god. There we go. Pee on you! You're almost dead. Wind? I don't know why I decided to do fat one for that one. Knock you over. I... <laughs> I really don't like the wheel monsters. Storm of degradation defeated. Can't bark anymore. I can only pee in combat. Okay, another one down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. Quick slash of your brush to do the trick. Yeah, That's actually the, probably the best line <laughs> that I've done so far. <laughs> Let's put another crest in the sky. Uh, let's see. I think there's one near... Closest to the exit. Two city checkpoint. Foul thunder appeared. Only one of you? Okay. Even it's a little nervous. Oh. Oh 
Okay, why are you like so formidable? Really? <laughs> Alright, the lightning's just protecting you now. All right, a, a, a simple slap did the trick. All right, that was weird. I was like, why isn't my glaive technique just flipping it over? <laughs> Foul Thunder defeated. It was, a, it was a buffed up singular monster. Okay, another one down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. Quick slash of your brush to do the trick. Alright, one more left. Alright, so the last one is towards where the guardian sapling is. Uh, I think it's a little further down the path. Is it either you or unless there's another one down here? Probably you. You. Got some close quarters combat here. Shame, Flasher. Why are you ashamed? No, no, I, I can also do. I like <laughs> when you're in a pinch. I can also slow down time. Like that also helps. And you're stunned. I can pee on you. It also gives you more time to, like, attack while they're stunned. Game Flasher defeated. Alright, last one down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. Quick Slash your brush to do the trick. <laughs> I defeated all of Masu's monsters. Well, what do you know? You've taken care of all the names in the monster manifest. Bet that drunken samurai will be shocked when he finds out. Still, I can't help feeling <laughs> felt feeling we robbed him of his fun. I know he wanted to fight them. <laughs> it wasn't like the revenge contract or Mika being like, help me. <laughs> it's like you wanted to fight them. We, we were just faster. All right. So how many demon fangs do we have? Ninety-four. So that'll get us the... That'll get us the fog pot. But we still can't afford the, the golden ink pot, which we need a lot more. I don't know if I want to, like, stand around farming a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I mean, it might be better to go back to the imps at, like, the beginning. Because you can kill them real fast. I peed on you, right? Yeah. You can only pee on them once. For fang. Oh god, they got really dark. Uh, oops. Alright. Uh, it's always hard to aim cherry bomb. Yeah, I'll we'll just. We'll be finding a lot more monsters. Let's we'll, we'll just try to bump into stuff as much as we can. We'll probably want. We'll probably want. The ink pot for like a dungeon or something. Oh, it's you. Um. I'm pee on you, Ubo me. I can now floral finish these. Uh, with Veil of Mist, I believe, is their floral finisher. Okay, I just kind of disintegrated. That <laughs> that looked kind of scary. <laughs> All right. Um, there's still something else I can do here. Looking for Mr. Postman. It's not Ida, but a different postman, Hayate. He's running up and down the beach. Saw him a few times. Of course, when I'm looking for him, I he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Let's fight something and he'll probably pass by. I pee on you. I pee on you. Mm. 
No. Now I got none of them with the floral finisher rip. <laughs> Keep running up and down the beach until I find him. Oh, okay. I regret my actions here. Uh, just... I regret everything! No, stopping time seems, seems to be doing well for me. <laughs> I mean, eked out a lot of things from them. Where is Hayate? Like, whenever I look for you, you're just nowhere to be found. Come back, please. Wow, I'm on fire today. Feel as light as anything now that the mist lifted from the city. No time to lose then. Super fast, Hayate. I gotta get back to work. Super fast, Hayate. Huh? What do you want? What's with the cheeky twinkle in your eye, pooch? You want a race? Okay, super fast Hayate, I'll give you a run for your money. Another racing minigame. Ready? Go! Are you gonna poop spikes like Ida did? I'm gonna assume you are. Um, okay, yes you are. You are indeed pooping spikes. Let's get, like, in front of him-ish. So he can't poop spikes at me, and then tackle him. I almost got spiked there. <laughs> wow! You caught up with me already? Never had guessed it, but you're a real sprinter, pooch. Looks like you've got one victory now. Got 30 praise for that. And I think we can race him again. We might have to change it. Better speed up if I'm losing to a wolf. I'm gonna polish up these golden feet of mine, so come back soon. I think I gotta, like, progress the day. We can race him again. It's like, wow, look at that, the sun! Uh, I'll change it. Actually, can I talk to him now? That'd be funny if I could start it now. <laughs> nah. Not sure if it has to be like a full day or if like half a day cycle works too, but... Daytime question mark? I'm pretty sure I can race him again. Huh. Maybe I have to like leave the zone and come back. Yeah, we need to we need to go to this back to the city anyway. <laughs> So let's go back to the Emperor now that we have more demon fangs. And buy that hog pot. It would be very nice for traveling long distances, like getting back to Sasa Sanctuary. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a very long way to get back to the Emperor. Mm. So much walking. Oh, right. I can also talk to you. Hey, look what I did. You no good thieving mutt. You showed Basu's monster manifest. Grr. Look at the days of my monsters. They've all been crossed out. I just don't understand it. But it's wrong of me to not recognize the good you did. True warrior would acknowledge such a thing. I don't need this anymore. You can keep it. And we got another gold dust so we can upgrade more weapons. You really are quite something, mutt. You know, to be honest, I wanted this violent business to be over as soon as possible. But I couldn't do it. So I was just roaming around aimlessly. Now that this has happened, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna start a new life somewhere else. Okay, well, I guess he was waffling around a lot at the, at the bar. At the restaurant, just drinking away. He didn't actually want to fight. Discovered the way of the samurai is not for him. Maybe you can be like Benke and be like, the way of the fishing rod is for him now. He can be a fisherman. The satisfaction of... of catching something, struggling against you, and then... feeding your family with it. Or 
selling it for lots of money. Hello, Rao. Bye, Rao. Not my way to see the Emperor, who allowed the dog to just wander into his palace like nothing. <laughs> Alright, all the way back here. Yeah. Alright. You look, if you look closely, Demon Fang seem to differ slightly. I'd like to collect each and every one of them if I could. Well, that's impossible. What do you think? Do you want to swap yours for some treasure? Might as well like try to collect all the sand on the beach. <laughs> this is gonna be more sand. <laughs> all right, we got fog part pot marked with the mist crest. It allows transfer between origin mirrors. Eighty fangs. Oh, we got the <laughs> Kasugami's back. Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Our separation had weakened me. My power had scattered like mist. Your heart, pure enough to pierce the darkness, reawakened me. The seal of mist will protect you. My power has reached its peak. I hereby bestow upon you the power of mist warp. Whoa, never expected something like that from a flask. <laughs> Bet that royal wolf didn't even know what was in this thing. Now about Mist Warp. I don't know exactly how to use it. But the important thing is that you got another technique back. Alright, we also got a chest that just appeared here. Got to Veil of Mist Techniques. Scroll drawn by watering artists. Let's see what techniques are listed in here. They love Miss Tech. Origin mirrors. Carve your memory forever into the annals of time. Among these mystical mirrors are special ones known as the ultimate origin mirror, which possess incredible divine powers. So the ones that have like a sun insignia on it, not the not the clear ones that you just see like in dungeons and buildings. Draw an X symbol on an ultimate origin mirror using the Veil of Mist. To activate the Mist Warp technique, using this technique allows you to teleport to the ultimate origin mirrors in other locations. So yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like the Mermaid Spring, but this time we can we can warp to other, other ultimate origin mirrors that also have little insignia on it. I think they're also on our map. Yeah, so it shows the origin mirrors as as well as the Mermaid Springs on our map. So there's an origin mirror. In Sasa Sanctuary, but unfortunately there's not an origin mirror in Saiyan City, so we have to we have to kind of run pretty far in order to warp. Uh, I mean, this will be a good chance to check on Hayate. And I'm wondering why I can't race him. Let me, like, change the night and day again. Just to make sure, and then I'll exit out and see if he wants to race. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember, like, doing consecutive races with him, and then he needed a break. For a bit, while I like progress the story before he was willing to race again, I gotta walk all the way back out. Like I'm just changing the, the <laughs> changing the time is probably unnecessary because it's gonna take all night just to leave. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, they're still waiting for Rao. Hmm, like good for nothing. That almost got me eaten by the water dragon. Just willing for, to forgive her though, because she's stacked. <laughs> it's not even just like Issa. Avi's like kind of into it too. It's like, girl. <laughs> Is like Thurston over there. Alright, see if we can bump into him. He's not as bad as Ida. I feel like Ida's really hard to find because his stomping range is a lot bigger. 
Nate just runs up and down the beach. There you are. Hello. Wait for me. Okay, he doesn't want to race. Maybe maybe I just have to like progress the story a little bit. I had to just go to Sasa's sanctuary and back. That'd be silly if that's the extent of it. Alright. Well, he'll also give an indicator if we like run by. He'll probably have, like a little exclamation point on his head. Alright, so let's show off the Veil of Mist technique. And I'll probably end off there because we've been going for quite a while. So let's get to an origin mirror. Let me draw an X on it. And we can go, let's go to Sasa Sanctuary. Alrighty, we're here and now we're gonna save because we're gonna save what's in here for the next episode. Alright, save over this file. Okie doke. Well, I hope you guys are having a fun time with this, and I'll see you in the next episode! Uh, bye bye!